Greetings, YouTube. It's been a crazy Monday. I've heard so much feedback that it's almost worth making another video that I'm not going to make, at least at this point, uh, about the reaction to the uh, Scarlet Witch paywall, as people are saying. I, I will say this. It annoys me that the same people, not all, but some of the same people who say that the Black Ice store is too expensive will also throw $50 in an early access bundle, which is almost half a year's worth of the Black ISO store. I also have to give Kabam some credit because when they started, it was like Taco Bell introducing a new item. They said, it's an exclusive introductory price, which I immediately talked about in a video a long time ago. That means it's going to go up. If something is an introductory price, that means it's going to be 99 cents for a month and then three bucks if it even stays on the menu after. Uh, although in this case it would be ten dollars as an introductory price and maybe fifteen or even god forbid twenty kabam hasn't done that they've kept it the same price even though they have improved it now have they made it the greatest thing ever no if i was running kabam i'd make it such a no-brainer to get that you would be really 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 helping your account big time by getting it and i know there'd be people who say well then there'd be a big middle finger to free-to-play players i don't view it that way i mean i still think it would get a lot of casual spenders to casually spend on it because ten dollars a month is about the same price as Netflix, and my guess is for a lot of people, they play this game more than they watch a streaming service. And then, of course, the counter to that is, but, but I can't get somebody else's login for the Black ISO store on my account, because we all know that's how the world works so often with streaming services. But in the midst of all of this, we had uh, two things. We had this, close to earning another hand hand combat crystal with a few shards short for a limited time, you get 200 times. Hand-to-hand -hand combat crystals for 15 units. Now keep in mind, that is not a good deal for the most part. Because you're probably just going to get a 3-star champion from the 4,000 hand-to-hand combat crystal uh, for the Cavalier equivalent. So, you know, I just want to say probably not the best. Uh, even though, because for me to get 2,000, right... It would take uh, 10 of these. It would take 150 units to get a 3-star. Would I pay 150 units for a 3-star champion or even a 4-star champion? Absolutely not. So I'd almost rather just keep the 2,000, even though they're, they're kind of evil geniuses for making so many accounts have, like mine, just a couple thousand shards short of another Cavalier. Now, of course, you could spend 150 units and get a 5- or 6-star champion, and if you don't have a Dagon, or even maybe if I wanted to try to finally awaken the champion I've been hunting all month, uh, OG Black Widow, who came on one of the last, if not the last, possible hand-to-hand -hand combat crystal. I think it was actually the last. Pretty good. But uh, the other thing that is the point of this whole video, now that I've given all of that introduction out of the way, is we have what has been in the game for quite some time, and that is the uh, return of the Incursion Bundle, which for 15,000 artifacts gives you one of the pieces of the Fabulous One, and then you collect all five to summon Platinum Pool. And then, uh, of course, you have chances to get a piece for the five star. And for the record, I like the five star okay. I thought it would be kind of fun to take him to rank five. And so you can see in my roster, I have an awakened five star platinum pool. He's sig 18. I don't know if I'm ever going to put any other six stones in him. I don't even know why I put the six stones in him that I did. But, uh,. You know, he's got some cool synergies, and, and he's uh, he's a trophy champion still for me, for the most part. He's better than some trophy champions. Uh, but at the same time, he's still not something that I'm going to get super hyped of. And Platinum Pool's been around for a while now in the game. So, with that being said, for those players who are uncollected and above, we now have the Super Fabulous, which, look at the price difference. 15,000 artifacts for... The uh, five star, 20,000 artifacts for the six star. And the difference in the wording is uh, understandably swole right arm of the fabulous one, or understandably swole right arm of the super fabulous one. So the word super implies, I guess, that it's a six star instead of a five star. And it's the same drop rates. I only ever opened one piece out of any of these. A 1.25% drop rate is pathetic. If they wanted to make it a lot better, they'd at least make it at a 5% drop rate, but Kabam apparently thinks that it would crash the economy of the game because if you missed uh, the time of the game where Platinum Pool was formed, you have to get different pieces by doing different things. Now, the arena could be one, and that'd be nice, but then another one's going to be the unit store, right? And so it is going to take cash, usually, for at least one of these pieces. But my question is, 
Let's just say you could buy the six star platinum pool formed unawakened, obviously, as is for X amount of incursions or units. Would people even really care about them? Because to me, if I've got a five star that's awakened that I never use at rank five, a six star is going to get me some arena points, but that's about it. I don't really see the hype with introducing the six star. I just. Uh, I just think about how hard it is to awaken a six star in any capacity and obviously get six stones. And I think about what I consider to be now the worst six star in the game, which is Age of Ultron Vision, because I don't know why you would put six stones into him and awaken him when uh, he's not even OG Vision in my book for the automatic power gain when he starts the fight. And on top of that, even though he does help with synergies like Warlock, he's still a bit of a what the community would call a wet noodle. So. I don't know. I I think it's interesting timing, and it's different, and people who are collecting every champion of every class are going to jump on it. And I, I appreciate, most importantly for this, that you do get units from these, and so I will be opening these uh, tonight, probably in my live stream. But at the same time, I'm just not that hyped. And maybe that's just me. Maybe some of you are really hyped about it. But I want to talk a little bit about 6-star Platinum Pool, my own experience based on my 5-star and given it's rank 565, right? And then see what you think in the comments below. So thank you for your feedback. Have a great rest of your very busy Monday in the Marvel Casino of Champions.